If your flowers are wilted or even dying because of the recent heat wave or the dry spell, Everybody Gardens editor Doug Oster says all is not lost. Doug is here to help us revive our gardens with late summer plantings and really help Aubrey and I out. Doug, what do you have for us? First off, Aubrey, <laughs> sunflowers or marigolds? Oh, sunflowers. Okay. That was such a tough question. Today we know a little bit more about yes, it. Yes, thank you. We needed the plant question. Good okay, job, Doug. I'm, I'm begging people to keep planting, and you know me. I'm the, the cheapskate, and there are so many bargains. I went to Han Nursery the other day, and I'm just filling my truck up with this stuff. And, and what we talked about uh, earlier was filling holes, mm -hmm. you know, and there's a lot of stuff that is kind of tiring out, and all the stuff at the nursery, when you go to a good nursery, you know it's been watered, you know it's been taken care of, and some of my best bargains are things you can save over the winter. So I've got, this is a plant called a canna, in the front is a, a type of begonia that has a little tuber in there at the end of the season that you could save. Mm -hmm. And then oh, okay. uh, another thing there, a caladium, and if you could find a dahlia also. All these things are stuff you can buy very inexpensively now, save it, or even grow it inside over the winter, and then you're, you could use it year yeah, after oh, year. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, I you love too. getting that yeah. stuff. If you haven't planted, or if you need something on on the uh, the porch, this whole thing. I definitely do. Holy cow! Fifteen bucks. Wow. Okay. And it's you, huge. Yes, you couldn't buy all these it's plants beautiful. separately, and it's all planted. It has a nice container for you, and it looks good. Yeah, yeah. it really does look good. Uh, these are really nice looking habanero peppers. Uh, these My are real hot. Would love some of and, those. and Aubrey, we have a tradition on PTL oh. where, where the talent <laughs> has to eat the I, habanero. I'm Don't up, fall I'm for, up this. for it. No, you're Don't not. Fall for this, I'm Please, we're not. We're not doing that. That's just a joke. My, okay. <laughs> we did to John Burnett. It didn't work. Right. Out. No, it was, it was it was pretty scary. Uh, oh, herbs. This is an oregano. Again, where you're, you're paying 99 cents for it, you're putting it in, and you're going to harvest it for years to come. Mm. Uh, oh, so this okay. doesn't go away. It comes back right. The next and year. oregano will come back year oh, after year. Oh, I didn't year. know that about it. And oregano is okay. good for us, right, Aubrey? It is actually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Planting seeds also. This is the start of what I call the third part of the season. We're putting seeds in radishes, lettuce, mm -hmm. all these cool weather crops are going to be ready for the fall. This is a hanging basket, six mm -hmm. bucks. You know, give it a little bit of fertilizer, okay. and all these plants up front here are all annuals that will end. With a frost, but look at how good they look, and they, they are love this in one. these big what containers. That That's a coleus. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, you know, for just a couple bucks a piece, and you can add this beautiful color right off the bat. Now, before we came on, I made you guys smell this. <laughs> I okay. failed this quiz miserably. Well, you wouldn't expect this kind of scent from no a way. flower. Mm -hmm. Popcorn plant. And that's what's right here. That, I knocked all the, never heard of that. I knocked this all the flowers off on my way in here. But yes, huh. this popcorn plant. So for you five, can grow five, five bucks. You put this in, in a pot, and it's going to put on all these yellow flowers. And for kids, uh, this is wonderful because when you squeeze those flowers and you get that popcorn flavor or uh, aroma, it's mm -hmm. just amazing. Oh, it's, yeah. it's really fun. I love that. That's neat. Okay. I learn things from you, Doug. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> well, we appreciate it. Well, for more gardening tips, visit Doug's blog. You can find the link at PittsburghTodayLive.com. Remember, it is not too late. You can still get out there yep. and plant. And we're going to be right back with another fun look at what is coming up on PTL and what has already happened on PTL this past week we like to call it that's a wrap